Hi guys, I hope you guys are doing really good tonight. Um, if you're having a little bit of trouble in your Shopify account, trying to figure out, you know, why is my products not really showing? Um, I feel like I've done everything I was supposed to do and I still don't understand why is it not showing up where other people can see it. Hope, I really hope that this video helps you. We're going to go through tonight and maybe give you some tips and tricks tips and tricks that could probably help you out. All right, we're at the main screen. I'm just going to go ahead and log in real fast. All right, so we're just going to focus on um, one particular item tonight. We're going to uh, focus on my pink edgy pullover. Um, so say for instance, you know, of course, you know, you want to make sure you fill out your title, your description, you know, get very much um, great detail um, on your items and you can also add media or drop files to and upload you can add your media from your URL um, for instance like if you have Instagram or if you have a YouTube account and you have a URL uh, which of course you will have a URL and you can actually take that and I'm going to show you we can take it uh, I don't want to get off subject but I'm going to show you real quick you can go to your settings all right, if you want to place your URL from your Instagram or your YouTube, <coughs> excuse me, you can go to your themes, go to your customize, go customize, and then you just want to scroll down, all the way down, and go to your theme actions. You see how this going to pop up? Excuse me, let me see. That's your theme. You can go to your theme settings. And then, like, you change your colors or whatever. But we're going to go to the social media. And you can share on Facebook, tweet, uh, tweet on Twitter, pin on Pinterest. And, like I said, you will put that link, like, for instance, YouTube, right here. So, you know, you want to put your URL. This right here is just uh, one of my videos from YouTube that I place on, on here. So, you know, but, you know, if you got your URL, it might be a little bit better. Okay, now... We're just going to go back to um, our products. And we're just going to go to, I'm just going to click on like a shirt. And for instance, with the shirt, you want to make sure, like I said, you want your title, your description filled out, which is, I got to go back and do that. <laughs> so you want to make sure your media and everything is on point, your sizes, prices, whatever okay so you wondering like okay but I don't understand you know I know I'm still new I'm still you know trying to build and but I'm putting my products in I'm putting my sizes in um I'm even you know tagging my videos so I don't understand okay if you're new and you haven't um really got your site to the point where you're ready to run and you're just at that stage where you're still in the draft mode so when you're in that draft mode and your product status haven't been set to active then you're going to have some issues so of course your stuff is not going to come up it's not going to pop up you're going to have some problems so i mean once you get everything uh the way you want it then that's when you, you know, you just go over here. And like I say, you know, you're on, you can say even schedule uh, your availability. So whenever you're ready to like fully pull out, you can just say, for instance, I may say, hmm, I'm just going to say uh, March the 30th. You can schedule your availability date. But, you know, take note, scheduling won't apply until product status is set to active. So you got to remember that. You got to make sure your stuff is set to active for it to, you know, do everything the proper way. But anyways, you just make sure you got all your products, you know, as far as uh, your inventory. If you want to go ahead and, yum, yum, I'm going to leave. Uh, if you want to go ahead and get your collections, you know, set your stuff up however you want it. Even if you want to put it into certain categories, you know, like I say, if you know if you got more than one pair of sweatpants, t-shirts, jewelry, whatever the case is, and however you want to do that, um, just make sure you have that set up. Um, we're going to go back to the t-shirt, and you just make sure you come over here to active, 
And notice um, when I hit active, it said this product will be available um, on this channel. So I'm just going to hit save right here at the top. So now it's saved. It's loading and it's about to save. Okay, so we did save it. So now we're going to go over to the left and click on home. Go to right here where you see my left hand. We're showing online store. Go to your theme. Go to customize right here. You see my little hand by the actions. Click on customize. And once you're back on your home screen, all you do is go to your catalog and you should show your products and there it's gonna pop up so then you will see that now it's showing active and that's showing that okay I'm ready to start selling I'm ready to get this you know thing going and then even in the excuse me the right corner it's gonna say live so it's gonna say live excuse me I'm a little hoarse this late but um it's gonna say live so it just let you know you're good and you're ready to go but just keep that in mind you know and I'm gonna show you a quick example I'm gonna go back as you saw it said live I'm gonna go back and then I'm gonna go back to products just to show you a quick example go back to a little short sleeve shirt Notice it says active. I'm going to turn it to draft. Then I'm going to hit save. Okay. Go to your store. Go to your themes. I'm kind of speeding up a little bit. Please forgive me. Go to your catalog. No products. You see? So it's important that you realize that you know you need to make sure your stuff is saying active. That way it'll start, you know, presenting on your product page and it's going to come into your catalog it's going to go into your collections the way you set it up so it's only going to go you know in the area that you set up you may have set it up on maybe your home page and you didn't you know probably put in a certain category but just wherever you place it that's where it's going to go but it only can go there if you hit active so products is active or if it's in uh, if draft or arch mode, you can always, like I said, this is another way you can go to your products, go to all products, which is over here on the left, and then go over. As you can see, it's showing nothing, uh, no products, no nothing. So you just go to your draft, okay, or these in draft, okay, go to active. And as you can see, it's, this will all um, let you know as well. Okay, yes, you have your stuff active. No, you don't. So if you get kind of confused or not really understanding, okay, well, I don't. I think I said it right, but I'm not quite sure. That's another way you will know if your product is in draft mode or if it's in active mode. All right, guys, so say, for instance, that you feel like you left out a size that you would like to add a, uh, another size. And like I said, this right here is for, you know, just kind of like examples, like I'm already kind of filling it in. But say um, I want to add like a 2X, you know, to my sizes. Just go to um, add variant. Then, um, like, you can upload your image. But notice right here, small is already, you know, filled in. Medium is filled in. But okay, I want to add the extra large. So all I'm gonna do is go to, go right here to size option, put in two X, and then I'm just gonna go down. Uh, make sure I, I was put how many I have available. I may say I have. Uh, four, you know, just to start off small, you know what I'm saying, you don't, you don't want to get yourself around, make sure you weigh it, and then we're, we're just going to say that it weigh, we're just going to say, we'll say 
2.5 ounce. We're just, you know, just throwing something in there. Ounces. So then I will hit, hold on. Yeah, then I will hit save. But of course, fill all this out, guys. You know, as far as price, and we're not getting into that. We're just really talking about sizing tonight and uh, making sure that your draft turns into active. So that's what we're covering tonight. But you know, there are other videos <clears throat> pertaining to pricing and everything like that. So let's get back to size. And then for size, if you want to have a certain inventory to keep up with your sizes, keep up with certain products, or whatever case, you can put that in. If I want to say um, 101 or whatever the case is that I'm trying to keep up with this particular item, especially if you start um, growing and you want to put uh, more items on your uh, website, that's a good thing to keep up with. But we're just going to hit save okay on all products and as you can see now we have small medium uh large extra large 2x then we have and it keeps up with the size price and the quantity and it also keeps up like i said with the sku to keep you organized organ <coughs> organized especially when you start having more inventory that's a good thing to have uh but yeah guys so like i said it tonight was dealing with more with products and um adding uh, sizes to your site so i hope this video was helpful for you and please like i said come back like comment and subscribe